Hey friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I'm excited. I'm doing an unboxing video. Um, I got approached by a company, um, IB, so IB.com, and they do washi tapes and stickers and different kinds of supplies like that, and asked if I wanted to collaborate with them a little bit, and I said, okay. So they sent me a box. They let me pick a few things from their shop, and they sent them to me. So my end of the deal, I guess, <laughs> is I'm supposed to do this unboxing video, so we'll see what I got and what I think. And then um, they also want me to do at least one video doing a project, and then I can share with you guys my links, um, my affiliate links, if you decide you wanna go shopping. Um, and I can earn a commission. So anyway, that, that's the deal. Don't feel like you need to go do that. But if you like what you see and you want to check it out, then please use the link in the description of the video. So today I'm going to show you the items I selected. It's packaged nicely. And we'll see what all I got. And if there's time, we'll do like a little mini project. Just a bonus project. How's that? Um, towards the end of the video. I do have a pile of scraps sitting here from my scrap bin in case there's something we want to work with. So, okay, this is one of the large washi tape kits that says there's 37 rolls, um, vintage style. And like I said, I got to, this is a cute box, um, I got to choose a few items. So if the ones I chose aren't your style, they've got tons. And they have some of the ones that are kind of the neutral ones too that I like. Um, and I've shopped from them before actually. So um, I love the little box it comes in. Look at that, all different um, widths of washi tapes. Those butterflies are really pretty. But here, look, there's some of the really skinny ones too. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. You guys know I love washi tape. Um, I have a video about all the different ways, or a bunch of different ways, there's more, right? <laughs> Not just the ones that popped into my head when I made the video, but of how to use washi tape in your junk journals. So that's something, um, if you want some inspiration about washi tape, and I'll certainly make something with those. All right, this is, oh, it says you are a special customer. Have a good day. You guys know I love little, little things of, of positive inspiration out in the world, so that's cute. Um, where you can get these like packs and I believe everything kind of coordinates. Let's look and see. Um, uh, because I love, I love uh, what I call adult stickers. So these are washi tape kind of, yeah, they have that texture, kind of the washi stickers. Lots of butterflies. You guys knew I would pick a, a pack like that. Mushrooms, flowers, fauna, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so there's the stickers, and then there's some of these papers, and I always call these like collaging papers. Um, I guess you can use them for whatever, but they're really thin, so you could mount them onto a heavier weight paper if you wanted to make a journaling card out of them. The images are really pretty and sweet. So lots of things we can do with that. One's cut into a tag shape, but again, they're really thin, so I think collaged onto another piece, these would work great, or that's that's my thought. Little labels, some faux stamps. Already my mind's um, coming up with all kinds of ideas that we can make with these pretties. So, all right, different shapes and sizes. What's well, nice about this too is if you have trouble fussy cutting, this is kind of a nice option. Um, or if you don't have a printer or something like to digitals, you get all these little pieces of ephemera and they're already you know laser cut out into the different shapes. And then there's just quite a few. Let's see what size this is. Most of these are right at five and a half by like three and three quarter inches. They vary a little bit. Maybe that one's a little bit smaller. Ooh, pretty though, right? So again, this might be a good option, um, just if you like these, of course, they're beautiful and I'll have fun with them. But especially if you don't like to fussy cut 
and you want some different shapes or you don't have a printer. It might be a, a, a kind of a good alternative maybe to um, some digitals to go maybe like if you're using scrapbook paper or things like that or book pages. So I'm gonna put these down in here if they go easily. All right, and then the other kit that I picked or the washi tape set that I picked, it got smushed a little bit. Look at the bee themed, it's bee themed. <laughs> Because you guys know I like making bee-themed projects. I have several um, paper kits that I bought on Etsy with bee themes. Um, and I thought these are going to coordinate really nicely. So again, a cute box. Did get crushed a little bit. But these are wrapped up. So let's get them out of here. Ooh, daisies. Lots of daisies, I love that. These are also gonna be good for fall, you know? Um, but definitely flowers and bees. So it looks like there's four, five, six, so 12 rolls that are kind of that standard size and then a wider, two wider ones. So these are three centimeters wide, right at an inch and a quarter. And then the ones that I kind of consider to be sort of a regular size width of washi tape, they are one and a half centimeters or approximately a half an inch wide. Cute. There's some more bees, more flowers. Okay, so that's what I got. So um, I'm going to plan a larger project and do a video using some of these items. I'll have to decide if I'm going to go kind of with these florals if I'm going to do something bee themed but for our mini project for today like I said I just grabbed um it's mostly scrapbook paper little bits and pieces from projects I just grabbed some because I thought we could make a mini project and I think what I want to do because washi tape is so much fun to use um you know, to, to hinge and to, to um, help you attach pages. So I am, I'll give you some measurements here in a second. Kind of just eyeballing and guessing. I thought we would do something that had just a few flaps and use the washi tape to hold it together. And then we can collage on it. So these papers um, I've had for a while, but they are, um, I'll have to link them for you. I love that side. Um, I'll have to link them for you. I can't remember right now the name of the collection, but um, I got them. You can't get them in the store at Michael's, but you can get them at uh, Michael's online. And um, and I, I remember that's where I got them. So a long time ago, they may still make them. No. Oh, here, this is yeah from that collection, too. I wanted a piece that was a little bit taller. But I think I'm going to use this piece and not worry that the pattern, the teacups are off sideways. We'll go like this. Okay, in a second, y'all are going to see my madness, hopefully. And I also need a piece that is wider. Let's see, maybe I'll use one of these instead. Okay, so I'm gonna do, and cut this one a little bit more narrow. All right, I hope you guys can see what I'm trying to come up with. I am going to make us a little flippy kind of folder, folio, just with some scraps from my desk and from the washi tape. So, Mine is going to be four, four sheets for now, and they're various sizes. You can obviously, because you saw what I just did, just make them whatever size you want them to be. This one's um, four and a quarter by five and a quarter. This one is five by seven and a quarter, to decide which sides I want. And this one is 
six and a quarter by five inches. And then the largest piece, I love those little jars, seven and a half by six and a half. All right, not planned out at all. Hopefully this is gonna be cute. Need that contrast, I believe. Okay, now, this piece, because it is longer, I am going to fold over, and we're just gonna make a little tiny pocket. And phone folder. I actually put it back where it belongs, so I was able to get my hand on it. I know, at the little things in life, right? All right, so we're gonna start with our base, and I want it face up, and we're gonna attach the second page. So let me pick a washi tape we're gonna use. Let's see, they're all really pretty. I think I wanna use one that has some of this gold on it, because I think that'll look really fun. And I'm not sure yet how sticky this is, um, a lot of times when I work with washi tape, I will, um, there's a piece of tape keeping it closed. I will, see right there, add extra adhesive to make the washi tape more permanent if I'm using it as uh, my, my binding method. So we probably should do that just to stay Stay safe. Okay, so this is my back piece. And I want it face up. I want this piece, I wanna see this pattern when I'm looking at it from the front. I'm just eyeballing it so it'll be hopefully the same, approximately the same gap from the top and the bottom. And I am adding just a little bit of PVA Line Co glue. And if you need um, to see some of my supplies, you can see the links in the description. And my piece is just a smidge longer than what I need, so I tore it back off. Okay, so we're gonna put one piece um, on the inside, kind of be that inside hinge. And I'm not gonna worry about this side yet. At the end, I'm gonna wrap one piece of washi tape around all four pieces of paper. All right, the next layer is this one that I'm gonna have this little tuck pocket. Let's go ahead and glue our pocket together. So put glue on the top and the bottom part of the flap. And guys, if you're scrapping, you don't have papers from the same collection, just use whatever papers you have. It might have even looked better if I had just done that and not tried to coordinate it quite so much. Okay. Another piece of washi tape. Let's add the glue first to make it a permanent hold, which is one of the wonderful things about washi if you want to use it to help you temporarily hold something together, you can. And again, I tore it too long. I'm saving those little pieces because I may use them later. It is fun to have new um, new rolls of washi tape <laughs> because they were they're they're so easy to pull off the roll and work with. They haven't aged and gotten sticky yet. Now again, you're gonna see we still have all of this going on. Don't worry about it just yet, but do make sure you fold everything as close to perfect as you can on this edge. Don't play with it too much yet, and we'll finish it. Finish it off. And now this piece. Very sweet. So I'm going to glue, or glue and tape the last page. This one, I'm gonna just do the glue that way. Pay a little more attention to the length that I need my hinge, my tape hinge to be. Okay, fun, fun. And then again, double check that it folds this way perfectly. And now you have something that looks like this. And I'm going to put a piece of washi tape 
that covers the outside, but just the height of this top layer because I want everything to open up completely flat. And if you want to, you could use your scissors to cut your washi tape. I'm just tearing mine because I like that look. All right, so again, we're gonna put the washi tape on. The glue gives you just enough time if you need to to wiggle. And then we're gonna flip it over and add glue to this side and wrap it around the hinge. Now, hopefully, I've been doing a lot of crafting on the fly lately, haven't I? <laughs> okay, hopefully this worked. Very sweet. Look at that. And we can add more pages to it if we want to. But we have a nice little flippy. I think it would look really good if I used my corner rounder. Grab the right punch. I'm going to use the half inch side and we'll round the corners. And again, I could have done this before I taped my folio together, but I didn't. Doesn't that look nice with the rounded corners? We'll just do it for each layer. I'm not, well, I'll do it on the pocket. It'll be fine. And it looks like I might need a little more glue on that pocket anyway. Cute. And the last one. And now we can use some of these fun papers and stickers to start decorating. So I'm gonna pull these back out and pick some out to start layering on each of these. I don't know that I'm gonna do every page. We'll definitely do the front and then decide how far we're gonna go. Now, I like when things sort of hang off or look like they've been cut off a little bit. Uh, if you don't, maybe pick something that you can trim up differently or is closer to the size. But see, I don't mind seeing the butterfly's wings like they've gone off the page. So I just folded that and I'm going to actually glue, glue it down by this flap on this side and then go ahead and fold the bottom up. Like I said, these papers are so easy to work with because they're so nice and thin. So that's one of the good things about thin paper. All right, I'm gonna put some glue on this side. You don't need a lot. It's not, it's not a pocket. It's not holding anything. It's gonna be a layer. And then glue this flap back. Kind of fun. All right. And of course I covered up the pretty pattern, but that's okay. See, this one would have fit more closely. Let's see, I'm gonna find a label. And a lot of times with these, I'll also do something like this. And let me get my ink out here. I haven't been inking. But just start making things fit to the sizes that, that I would like to have to work with. Here are some faux stamps, and I think, oh, they're even perforated. Look at that, guys. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, that was very satisfying. I don't know why, but it was. I'm going to pick the one that looks sort of like the pattern on the paper that I have. And we're just gonna make a little mini collage and what else do we want to put in here oh definitely a sticker right so maybe we'll add another butterfly like that won't that be cute okay so many possibilities and as we go through the folio of course we can add pockets and tuck spots, we can keep decorating. 
let's see, I'm gonna add this butterfly. This is like I said, it's that washi tape material. And I find it, it, they're a little translucent, which I really like. But if you take your bone folder and really press them down, the colors tend to pop even more. I really like that for the cover. A little strip of something along this side might be nice too. So let's find a piece of paper. A lot of these are already like collaged for you almost and gives it that look and you can just add a few extra pieces, which would be fun as a cover. I saw this, what looks like a dictionary page. It's probably a few too many butterflies. I was going to use the part that just looked sort of like the words, but I didn't want to rip it up. It was too pretty. Oh, perfect. This is what I'm looking for, something like this. So I just wanted a little bit of text. I'm gonna make it approximately an inch wide. And finger tear, finger tear, and I'm gonna add some ink. Might be a little bit wider than what I want. I'm gonna tear it so it's got a little uneven edge like that. So no two ever look the same. <laughs> when you tear that way. All right. So leave me a comment if you like my little project on the fly and let me know. I am, like I said, I'm gonna do a bigger project using these supplies. So tell me, do you wanna see a general one using all these little paper stickers in the big washi kit set? Or would you like to see me do a bee themed project? Like we could do tags, we could, um, you know, do the fall yellow goldy colors. So tell me which one you would like to see first. Doesn't mean we can't do another one later, but is there one you would like to see? And I wanna put one more sticker down and then we're gonna call this a day. And I will finish this, oh, maybe a mushroom, no. I really want a flower of some sort. I'm gonna go back to this one that I had, the very first one. Um, yeah, let me know. And see, if, and if there's a little bit of a consensus, I'll go with that. If not, I guess I will just decide. There we go. I don't know if that was necessary, but I wanted to use a sticker. So I will go through later and probably add some more pockets, pick out some things to go in that pocket and decorate these pages. This one, definitely probably gonna do like a big crisscross pocket of some sort using the washi tape and it'll give that back fold back layer a little more structure too so thanks um ivy i think that's how you say it and um for sending me some really fun products and we will um have more to come thanks everybody for watching have a great day